So here we are, first toy haul 2018. And yes, I'm still sick. I sound, probably sound awful, but I still wanna do my videos. And you know how to do it. Starting off with my Hot Wheels and the last ones I just picked up. Um, I'll show these ones first, actually. So this brand, I never was really big into, but these two cars have kind of had my attention for a little while. Uh, both stamped with the 50th anniversary, 50, Hot Wheels 50th anniversary logo. We got Porsche, uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS right there in white. It's kind of like a cream, I guess you could say. Um, and then over here, like a light blue, Columbia blue kind of Porsche uh, 934.5. Get out there. Like I said, I've never really big at Ben's Porsche. I never really drive Porsche cars in video games. But these two cars were kind of, uh, I don't know, just kind of stuck out to me, especially the 911. So I ended up diving into them. Next up, some Formula Racers. Uh, what are formulas? I like this green one a lot. It's like a, I don't know, it's got the Xbox green and yellow, and it just look, just looks really slick. So I had to pick it up. There's actually been some other win, winning Formula cars. I wish I would pick them up now because I hadn't picked any up before. And then this one, like a maroon and gold, uh, like Washington or Boston College. And it has the Hot Wheels kind of throughout. That's what I really like too. I have a lot of, quite a few cars that have Hot Wheels written across them like that, so that's cool. Next up, this is kind of suspect, but I just went in and picked it up because of design. Firebird, 77 Pontiac Firebird, plain blue there. This one actually reminds me of like a Hot Wheel I may have had as a kid. Man, I can't remember all those cars I had, but version down the hallway as a kid. And then another uh, M4, I call this an ice cream beamer. So I'm like this uh, ice blue, like, I don't know. I just call it ice cream beamer every time I see it. And then if I decide to pick it up, I have quite a few of these M4s. I think the only one I'm missing is a red one because it was red, so I don't really care that much. But there's a dark blue one, that's my favorite one. And then this one I just kept passing on. I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get it, add it to my M4 set. So the ice cream beamer. And then another one of these bad boys, uh, Ford GT Race. I really like these. This is 2016. Orange Ford EcoBoost, or um, I don't know what this is. Yeah, powered by EcoBoost. Yeah, I really like these. I have quite a few of these. A 2017, and then a couple of the race models. The blue one was really dope too. Uh, so yeah, Ford GT Race. And then this one I had to get when I saw it, because I have another one. Uh, it's the Halo. This is the uh, Oni Warthog. The all decked out, all black there. That one looks, it looks clean there. And I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get this, definitely, very easily. The How Will Screen Time set, or collection, I guess. Cars inspired by popular movies, TV shows, video games, and more. Uh, give me some more of the ones inspired by video games. I wanna see some more of those. There's tons of vehicles out there from video games. Oh, you know what she get? What the hell is that one from Gears? I always forget the name of that damn thing. But I wanna see that. Uh, I don't wanna see. I don't know, but yeah, like there's tons of dope video game vehicles out there. So they should all be made into Hot Wheels. And I tell you, like, I sound awful, I have to. So if you sit through these videos, I'm sick right now, thank you. And you are a trooper and yeah. Uh, so last up, Hot Wheels. I actually have two of these, I already got, um, had to pick up two of these. This is a 2015 Dodge Charger SA, SRT. Uh, like the, the color, I think this is my favorite, my favorite Charger now, with really like the gray and black. The red I don't care too much about, it's okay. But it's really just uh, like the gray and black, silver and black that I like. So, and I just had to pick up two of them. So that one's already on display. And last, I still haven't found a double of this one yet, but got another Lambo. Lamborghini Huracan LP622 Super Trofeo. Check it out in yellow. I do have this one in like the lime green. Um, but I saw the yellow one. I said, oh yeah, like, this is dope. But I haven't been able to find the double. So I might just open this one anyway and hope I'll come across one later. We'll see. But there's that. 
Mm, let's see, what's next? It's always funny how toy haul works out. Toy hauls work out. So I just grab a couple, I grab a figure there, a couple Hot Wheels I come across that I like, and then all of a sudden, I got a couple figures stacked up, some pops, Hot Wheels, I'm like, where are all these come from? But, there they are, we're starting to play this one. Toys falling everywhere. Another Transformer I saw, another Decepticon, and the Titans Return set. Uh, Caliburst and Slug Singer. All the Titans Return stuff doesn't really matter. I just want like some mainline, I don't say mainline, but just some regular Transformers figures, Autobots, Decepticons, none of that fancy gimmick stuff I don't care about. Just want some, uh, some nice looking deluxe figures. There is a back there. <clears throat> deluxe or Voyager. Usually don't do the leader class. I almost did, but then I avoided it. Um, just so I could get uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron. But I got both of those in Voyager class, so I'm good. And the rest, just like the deluxe figures. Nice size. They should all be a little bigger. That would be cool, but um, it's cool. Especially Jets, I like. So, Decepticons, and then as long as the weapons are good, I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. So, there he is. Transformers. And then, a couple of Pops. I had not seen... I, didn't even know this that was coming. I don't know how long it's been out. I may have just missed it. But from one of the other popular fighting games, not the most popular. Uh, so here they are. Mortal Kombat. I have a 250, 251, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero. Who's better? Like, team show you, I'll put them on top. Because Sub-Zero is better than Scorpion. If you think, whichever, uh, ah. Whichever is your favorite ninja of these two, put them in the comments. Let me know, because I'm tired of them putting Scorpion on the front like he's the better ninja. He's not. He's not at all. Like, Sub-Zero's blue, one, and he has ice powers, which is dope. So, look at him. He's got blue eyes. Like, he's better. He's better, people. Like, better. Trust me. So, yeah, uh, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and the rest of the set, at least this series, uh, includes Liu Kang, Katana, and Raiden. I did see Raiden. Raiden, Raiden. I'm not sure if I want to get him, but I do want Katana. And I'm curious to see who comes in later sets. Because they should definitely be more of these. I'm surprised there's only five in this series. I don't know what they're doing. But we're going to go ahead and crack these on right now. See, I need to figure out another spot to display the rest of these. Because I have a bunch sitting right here. But um, I don't know where to put them. I guess I can try to find out where the books are. And I don't want to put them in front of my games, because then I don't just be in front of my games. Can you something? Sub-Zero. Palette Swap Ninja. So here they are. Ooh, that's cool. Subby. Sub-Zero. There's something back there. That's kind of where I'm like, I don't know if I like that though. But everything else is cool. And Scorpion, Mr. Get Over Here. Get Over Here. Take him out there. Start bringing the mask in the back. Check out. Subby. Look, seriously. How could anyone say Scorpion is better than Sub Zero? Like, Scorpion is dope. Like, don't get me wrong, but come on. Really, people? That's what we're going to do. Sub Zero. And jumping on to one of my favorite toy series, toy collections, toy series, toy lines, uh, Marvel Legends. Got to finish up on Marvel Legends. And this new series, which I've only seen a couple figures of, I'm about to order this other figure I'm missing that I really wanted for a while. But Tombstone, this actually is the sinister villain. So it's him and the other beetle, the dude beetle. I got Lady Beetle from a previous series, and I kind of want him too. Like, just tap both beetles because that'd be okay. But Tombstone's kind of cool. Pretty bare. Uh, not really nothing much for accessories. <clears throat> it was actually... I thought I'm at Target. But uh, I wasn't going to pay $20 for him. But he was um, Amazon for like 10 bucks. Price match, baby. So, yeah. And there's a series there on the bottom there. I want Moon Knights. Moon Knights I figure I've been waiting for for a while. It's not all white. It's white and black. But I would like them. Another Moon Knight figure where he's all white, kind of like his modern version, modern comic version, and then that would be dope. But I really like Spider-Man villains. He's got one of the best Rose galleries as far as like a solo character. 
easily the best um, right before Batman or Solo Rogues, Rogues Galleries, Rogue Galleries. Uh, so yeah, Tombstone, Mr. Paleface himself. Look at that evil grin. He's about to do some, he's about to do some shenanigans. And then the piece de resistance. I think that's, I think that's what it means. Uh, here he is. Why this video is titled the way it is. This is the King of South, King of Wakanda, Black Panther, T'Challa, badass. Movie coming up next month or so. Walmart exclusive. And finally came across this guy. And yeah, I've been looking for him for a while. I have like one or two other Black Panther figures. And then, so I saw this one, I was like, oh yeah. Like finally, but then I finally came across him in stores. So there he is. Black Panther, Mr. Wakanda. It's got spear. Uh, Interchangeable hands. It should have come another set like some fists, but the other hands are like to hold the spear, so that's okay. But I'm saying you should at least came with some fists. You should always have a set of open hands and a set of fists. Like every that should be standard for every figure, and then a little necklace there too. So yeah, those are my figures. That's my little toy haul. First toy haul, 2018. There's actually some other figures I've been eyeing on Amazon that I have sitting in my cart. So whenever I place a video of those, or place the order, like I have a video dedicated just to those. It's like seven figures, six, seven figures. So one of them is Moon Knight. Uh, so when I do that, I wanna really happen to have a, that haul because some of those figures I've been eyeing for a while and I just never placed the order. So I'm going to do that, I need to do that soon. And uh, I usually don't be in a rush if they're on Amazon, just kind of sit there. But here's yeah, my toy haul I got. Hot Wheels, a new Transformer, add to my Decepticon army, a couple new pops, to add to a place I don't have any spots to display them, and some new Marvel Legends in my ever increasing Marvel Legends collection. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Let me know what's going on with you. What are you picking up? There's a lot of, there's some dope toys out that I missed. I didn't do anything big with toys like a Top 10 last year because schedule's all off. But let me know what you're looking for, what you're collecting right now. Like, I think my main things are always Hot Wheels Pops and Marvel Legends, and then a lot of figures from Japanese lines like Bandai and stuff. And oh, there's a, oh, I have to show you a figure. So, uh, Rebel Tech, there's a Rebel Tech Carnage figure coming in like May. I was just looking at, I haven't even placed my order for it yet, pre order. But, Carnage figure, I'm all in there. I'm definitely picking him up. Also got Marvel, Marvel, Marvel Cup there. But, yo, like, Hobby League Japan, go look up. And, like, this figure looks stupid dope. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Carnage, y'all know I love Carnage. But anyways, that's my toy haul. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, still kind of cracking after these new first videos of 2018. So, Hope your New Year's good. Hope your 2018's off to a good start. And thanks for subscribing, all my new subscribers. What's up? Thanks for watching, as always. Please go ahead, comments. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what's going on with you. What you think of toys? And thanks for watching. Happy toy hunting. Happy collecting. And peace out.